Alright guys, so let's continue with the pause uh, screen tutorial thingy, whatever I called it, can't even remember. So, uh, this is what we got so far. Uh, it basically opens it right away the menu. But what we want to do is make it open. Uh, basically, yeah, when we press escape in this case, uh, you can say do whatever you want, I do escape. So for, first we're gonna do uh, right click here, we'll go to create, empty, and I usually uh, name this to main object. And this is the object I put in every single, I mentioned it in pretty much every single one of my tutorial series. Because that's where I put all of the GUI stuff and stuff I need in every scene. So, uh, here we're gonna go add component scripts and I have a lot of scripts from my other tutorials actually we want to go new script and I don't know let's just call it pause screen okay type javascript I mean lang language javascript create and add here it is let's just quickly open it want to develop alrighty oops Okay, so we got the function start and the function update. So, like, uh, to open it, we wanna uh, have it to do something when we press escape. We actually wanna do that uh, in the function update. So it's called uh, once every frame. Here, I don't think I have my game locked to a specific frame rate, so it will just do it uh, as fast as your PC can, like the frame rate. So, uh, what we want to do here is start with an if statement and the brackets and uh, go input dot get key down and then more brackets and here we're gonna go key code key code dot escape and that's pretty much the if statement now if you wanna like if you have something like in case uh, your character is talking to an NPC you can't you uh, like after the pause screen you just go here and uh, type in whatever it is for your talking like you would have changed something but yeah then here we actually wanna uh, let me just remember, yeah. Oops, why did I do this? Oh yeah, I will need them. Uh, first off, let me just delete this. First off, as you can see, even if we we were to pause the game, we would still be able to move around and stuff. And the enemies would actually move also. I didn't even know that you can move like this for the GUI. That's interesting. Okay, anyways, yeah, we would still be able to move in if it's paused. So what we want to do here is go open brackets, game object. Where is it? Wait, which one? I think it's the lowercase one. Dot find then open uh, brackets first person controller that's what it's called in the uh, in the first first person assets to get with unity uh, dot get component mouse look that's the script we need to disable okay and as my behavior dot enabled equals to false. So we want to disable that script. Then just go again game object dot find. I think I'm doing the right game object. It's kind of confusing because there's more. Now in the second one, we want to do main camera. 
Uh, it's new camera. Dot get component. Oops, that's not a dot. Dot get component. And then mouse look again. As model behavior. Not enabled. Oops, you need to close the brackets and then go to unenabled. And set that to false too. Okay, so here we're going to do then uh, to open up the canvas. So we actually want to uh, make a variable. So we're going to go var. Uh, wait. Yeah, we'll go var. Pause canvas. Type canvas. Okay, so here we're gonna go pause canvas. Not enabled. And set that to true. Next line is I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's time dot time scale. So this is basically to, uh, to stop all of the animations and stuff. And set that to zero. Okay, then we got screen dot lock cursor. Set that to true. No, uh, Wait, lock cursor is false. And screen. Dot show cursor. That's actually true. And what we actually want to do now, let's just copy over this function start. And rename it to same game here and yeah copy over the two lines for the sc screen dot something and basically set this to true and this to false okay so I'm pretty sure this should work if I try it out now let's go save all and let's try it Wait, pause canvas on identifier. This may be lowercase to see. Yeah, I think it might be. Nope, it wasn't that. Maybe I just didn't. Okay, everything should be good now. I'll just go to the main object and drag the canvas over to here and have it disabled when the game starts. Okay, so you can't see the mouse. Well, you can see it if I click somewhere else. Let's actually have the game maximize and play it again. So yeah, you can't see my mouse even if I'm clicking. And if I press escape, you can see it and yeah, you can press on the buttons. Okay, so uh, before I end this tutorial, I'm quickly going to show you how to do the resume game button. Just basically do this. Paste it over to here. Change all the falses to true. And all the truths to false. As for the time uh, dot time scale, set that to one. So this is true, and show cursor is false. 
Okay, so let's try this again. Whoops, actually. It won't work right now because we need to go canvas, panel, resume, drag the main object into here, go to uh, pause screen, and resume game. Alright, now if we try it, it should work. Yep, it does. So yeah, as you can see, I can still move and stuff. So anyways, guys, uh, that will be it for this part. In the next part, we let's see what do we have. I could uh, show you how to like open up the option screen, probably, because I mean, exit to main and exit to desktop are pretty easy to do. So yeah, we're probably gonna be dealing with options like how how opening the option screen, not dealing with options themselves. But yeah, anyways. Uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to leave a like. It helps, it helps me out to get the video noticed, more noticed and stuff like that. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.